I'm gonna show you my detailed deep clean shave routine that leaves my skin soft and shiny with no hair. It also helps my KP bumps go away and leaves my skin looking healthy all the time. I'm gonna show you how to go from hairy legs to smooth soft legs. As I mentioned, I'm gonna show you guys my deep clean soft smooth shave that I always do my best. As I mentioned, my skin is very sensitive to shaving. I used to get bumps, razor burns, razor bumps, everything. I think I found the perfect formula, tips, and techniques that I've watched like a million videos on TikTok and YouTube. And I think I found the best one because I used to always use Nair. Nair works, but it's just like, you know, putting it on, waiting, standing in the shower. But I always thought like razors are not for me. Like pretend I go on a girl's trip and I'm like, but like I forgot to bring my Nair. Does anyone have Nair? No. We only have razors. I have like a brand new pack. I'm like, I can't use it because my skin will flare up. But now I got the perfect one to get your legs straight. So if you do have like KP bumps and skin issues with your legs, I got you. These are the products that I use. I do shave with conditioner and I use Not Your Mother's because it has so much slip. Another conditioner that's really good for shaving is the Aussie Moisture Miracle, the three minute miracle. That has the best slip. I left it at home. So I use this one because it has so much slip. It's like there's oil so slippery in the shower if this is actually on the floor <laughs> i'm done that thing was made me slip the next thing i use is the flamingo razor so good the blades are so it's sharp enough but it's not too sharp or it's, it cuts you when you shave you know when it's like men's razor and i shave that's when i start reacting i have to be really careful and then i also use the scrub that comes with it these two came together and it was like i think ten dollars seven to ten dollars i'll link everything that i use down below and then the last thing i use is obviously my dove exfoliator it's also a polisher so it's like as you finish it off it exfoliates your skin so that the hair follicles are not stuck and then it creates like a bump so you have like razor bumps so you really have to exfoliate but yes i mentioned all the products but but you know what's more important? The technique. That's the main thing. 40% product, 60% technique. Hey. I've grown out my hair for like a couple of weeks and this is how long it grows out. I really, I mean, I don't shave my legs as much. I don't need to during winter as much as summer. It doesn't really get too long. I try to keep it like the max I can have is like a grain of rice. After that, I need to shave it. So the first thing I do is I wash it. I shave my legs inside the shower, but for the purpose of the video, I'm doing it all like outside. Obviously it's not the, the full extent of how I shave my legs, but I'm gonna show you guys as much as I can. So the first thing I do is I wet it with warm to hot water to open those follicles. I soak my feet with water so that my follicles will open. The first thing I do is I wash my legs. Just with my regular loofah, I wash my skin because I do want a clean skin before anything. I just want all my follicles to be really clean because with my razor, I don't want to be shaving my legs on dirty skin because that's how razor bumps and KP bumps and all of that is created. So that's not what I'm trying to do. So I want to start with on a clean slate. Your legs, I mean, to shave your legs inside the shower because of all the heat, it helps you shave easily on your skin because you know it's hot, humid, everything in there. So, every, everything is easier because nothing is drying up. That's why I kind of stopped shaving my legs like outside of the shower. I'm gonna rinse it with warm to but more to hot water. It feels so clean, and it's starting to feel like your skin's starting to soften up, and you can tell it's not even dry like none of that. Crucial. You need to exfoliate before you shave and after you shave. Those two, like that sandwich, exfoliate, shave, exfoliate, is key. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go exfoliate. I'm gonna wet this with hot water, about that much, not too much. Like a minute on each leg. And I really try to focus on the parts that I have acne or like I tend to get acne AP bumps and razor burns and like this the most sensitive parts of my leg the most sensitive is like 
right here for me, back here, and then the back of my thigh. That's like number one if I'm reacting to something on my legs, it goes right here, the back of my thighs, and like the back of my calves. Maybe it's because this is because I sit. I don't know why here, like since I was younger I used to have like KP bumps right here. Maybe the whole thing is like sitting. And every single thing I do in this step, I do not skip it. Like I can't skip it. For a good shave, I need like at least 30 minutes. The first thing I do is I go section by section. So my first section is my thighs, then it's my legs, along with like my toes. I do the same thing on the other side. I grab conditioner and I put about, I try to put as much as I can, the first layer. I'm gonna grab hot water from my razor and I'm gonna put it right here so I can like dip my razor and like take all the hair out. I grab a little bit. I try to make it like, I don't want it to be too thick, so I try to thin it out just a little bit like with the water because it's easier to shave that way. I don't want my hands to be too slippery. I always have to like wash it. I wet the razor. I really try to take my time when I shave. I don't try to do it fast or go backwards or go this way. All I do is shave up and I just do this twice. I put as much conditioner as I can because as I'm shaving, I know what I already shaved and I don't have to go back But I just shave up and as you can see like I already know I shaved this part I'm gonna put it here and then I try to take out the hair and I put it back because I, I just hate when everything's dry I go back to it again. This is like basically the pace I go my preference I don't know I just like when the razor has water on it it's just easier to glide and it's like you know slimy almost you can see all the hair same thing with the thighs but I really try to pay attention to this part because it's always hard to get my knees I don't know why but it's always been hard to like actually get this part because it's like the crevices and you're trying to like not cut yourself so I, I try to I do this last I try to be careful I do every single thing and then I do this part and then also as I mentioned I'm really sensitive over here like on this side of my leg and this side so I really try to be gentle but at the same time shave as much as I can I shave up this way too um it's like going against the hair My legs tend to have more hair than my thighs. That's just like how it is always. When I shave this bottom part, it's so satisfying because you can see the hair. Every single thing I shaved, I'm like, yes, I'm doing something right. And tonight, you guys already know, this part feels so soft. Clean shaved legs and then you go to bed, you go under your covers. That's my favorite. Anytime you shave your legs, you have to stretch the skin to get as much hair. So what I do is like, I bend my knee and then I basically like go over it like this. This part I have to be extra sensitive. I try to not like press really hard because I've cut my knees so many times. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but my knee, I don't know if it's just shaped a different way, but it's like I really try to like get it and I always cut it right here. I try to not forget like my near my ankles. If I don't get them like I'm putting on my socks. I'm like, how did I forget this part? Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this leg. I'm not gonna do it by sections now. Now I'm just gonna to like do it all over and just shave again just to, just to make sure I didn't miss any spots. I'm rinsing it with like warm to hot water and this time it's not gonna be that much. I'm just kind of like gonna put it 
like all over and I can already feel spots I, I missed that's why I go back to do it again I feel it right here I kind of missed and like right here I didn't get the spot like really good for most of it like I think I shaped pretty good I don't know if you can see it, but do you guys see the difference already? You guys can see like the slick, smooth, baby soft skin. So I'm gonna do the same, the exact same thing I did on this leg. I just finished shaving my legs. I rinsed with warm water. Everything's clean shave. It feels so soft. This is how I store my razor. So the first thing I do is I wash out every single hair conditioner, anything that's on it. I like put it down under the faucet for like 10 to like 20 seconds. So every single thing is out. I also try to like, I try to tap it so every single thing comes out. I rinse it with cold water because you don't want to be storing this. Hot water grows back bacteria. So you don't want to be putting this in hot water and then storing it. And if you have like bad razors, especially if it has brown, that's how it causes razor burns, razor bumps, KP bumps, chicken skin, everything. Next thing I do is I exfoliate one more time. So I go back in with my exfoliator. I usually have the other Dove exfoliant where it's like, it has more rocks. After this, like the after exfoliant, I try to get something like that's rougher because it's just better and it's good polish. But this works great too. So this is what I'm just gonna use all over my legs. feels so soft I don't know why I started doing this I don't know if there's a benefit to it but I leave it for like two minutes as I'm cleaning my shower I just leave it so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys it's probably not new but it's new to me I actually started since I have sensitive legs skin I started using my regular face wash as like my finisher for my legs so I do this not every shower but like three to four times a week but on my shave days this is key so at the end just to finish it off I use my face wash because my skin is sensitive so I treat it like my face so if I treat it like my face and I I really take care of my skin the skin on my face I started doing the same thing on my legs and I've seen like the biggest difference in a month like the first month I've done it I saw all the bumps all the everything even the dark spots you know the dark spots from my KP bump I'm telling you guys try this if you do have leg sensitivity like if you're the skin on your legs very sensitive just try it and I don't use any scrub so basically what I do is just like I put it on I leave it for another two minutes it's almost like a mask for me but obviously it cleans I'm just trying to see if I have any more conditioner left on my legs any more of the exfoliator but mostly this is to really get into every single pore if there's any oil sebum anything from my skin doesn't clog up my pores this is I wish I knew this because it's so obvious I've been having face wash for years now and if I just applied it to my legs I feel like it would have helped me years ago the last thing I do is I rinse with cold to freezing water to seal up all my pores to just be like hey we're done seal up so I'm done shaving washing exfoliating all of that to my legs one thing is I did not cut myself at all not even once I'm gonna rinse it one more time I don't know where the soap is coming from I pat instead of rubbing I try to pat it because rubbing it just makes it more sensitive and after you shave your skin is most sensitive at that time I just try to really take care of it like like I hurt my skin or something I don't dry it like a hundred percent because I'm about to put on my lotion the last thing I put on is amlactin this is the best after shaving one thing I don't know if I've ever explained it but la it has lactic acid lactic acid is really good for restores your skin let me read it boosts healthy skin 
renewal. You need that after you shave because you just shaved all the dead skin. It also exfoliates, leaves dry skin soft and smooth, deeply moisturizing, and it's not greasy. Number one thing I noticed about this is, is that it's not greasy. That means when I put it on and I try to put clothes on, it doesn't stop me. It's that type of lotion. If I had to pick one lotion for the rest of my life, it would be this. It does not have a smell. Very good for sensitive skin. So I put this right after my shave, but one thing is it will burn, especially the second day. I don't know why the second day, but right now it doesn't burn as much, but it like tingles a little. This is like the food and like the nourishment you need after you shave. See, it doesn't burn right now. Like it's a second day. Like as soon as the second day hits, it shows all the places that you, you slightly cut, but it wasn't really bleeding or anything like that. So for the first day, I just put the amlactin lotion, but the second day, I put on my Vaseline body oil. That just gives it an extra shimmer and shine, especially during the summertime. So I put the, that, but I don't put it after I shave because it's very sensitive right after I shave. As y'all can see, it feels so good and soft. I actually put on lotion just to go back in the shower because I'm not gonna. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want more hygiene tips or like certain specific thing you guys want to see, please comment down below and come again. So weird angle.